well, veterans are heroes, and we're going to talk about that today. So my mom and dad are both veterans, and I think they're heroes because they save people's lives, they defend people, and also they hear, heal people. My mom was a nurse, and my dad, I think he was in the Marine. And so my mom was a veteran because she chose that job, and she was a hero because she saved people's lives. And I think they're heroes because they heal people, sacrifice themselves for other ones. They defend people. They fought in the world for other people to live. And that's why I think veterans are heroes. Hello, my name is Laura Ballard, and my superhero is my husband, Ronnie. My husband served in the U.S. Army during the Vietnam era. He was in the Army's 101st Airborne Division parachuting out of an airplane into Cambodia. He served the United States Army for several tours in the Vietnam War. My husband doesn't talk about his service, hardly ever. As a matter of fact, we were married over two years before I never knew anything about his service in the Vietnam War. My husband is my hero, my special veteran, and he makes me proud. Happy Veterans Day to all those who have served our country. Thank you. Well, the things about veterans is, is um, they always got to move forward, keep going. You can't ever stop. Once you're in there, you got to keep going. You can't just say, oh, I'm just only halfway up the mountain. I just might as well turn back around and be an easier way down. Nope, you got to keep moving forward no matter how high it is, no matter how tough, no matter what. You got to always keep moving forward. And I think the Army today, It'd be a big help with moving forward. So I think that'd be a good one. They are selfless. They are brave and they are courageous. And they have joined the military knowing that the cost may be high. Many have fought for our freedoms. They joined in order to protect their families, their friends, all their loved ones, and the country. But it requires much sacrifice. They leave their families behind and go courageously and bravely to places that may have much danger in. In order to serve and protect, they were there. I want to say thank you for being a veteran. And I want to say thank you for serving our country. And God bless. My dad, Charles Blackwell, was a Marine. He served in active time in the Bay of Cuba, which was a mission he was involved in to overthrow Castro. My dad is my hero because he put his life on the line so that I could have the freedom to vote, I could have the freedom to go to church and worship as I, as I wanted to. Um, he taught me so much about courage, about being courageous when you're terrified on the inside, and about how to keep putting one foot in, forward, in front of the other one and then keep moving forward. Um, and that's why my dad is my dad. I consider veterans superheroes because uh, they protect their country and what they either did or are protecting our country in every way and any way possible. They go from country to country and, and like culture to culture and have to adapt and react to every single country culture. My, my dad was in the army for 14 years. He served two tours in Iraq. He withstood injuries and lots of trauma from the army and he has to live and remember that every day pushes through and manages to be a great father of me every day this is private first class john toby herring of the united states marines he is my superhero he is my son and uh when he was a little boy 
He told me a long time ago, he said, Mom, I'm going to do something that makes you really proud of me. And the day that he decided to join the United States Marines was probably the one day that my heart as the Grinch grew four times bigger than what it should have been. And any time that I talk to him, any time I see a picture of him, any time I think of him, any time I mention his name to my kids in my classroom, the pride of being a parent, being a mom, a mom of a Marine is the best feeling you could possibly have. He is my Superman. He is my Spider-Man. He is my Iron Man. He is every superhero you can probably imagine. Um, he is a true devil dog, and he is my Marine. Private First Class John Toby Heron. My grandfather, um, he's my dad's dad. He, um, well, he died before I was born. He didn't die in World War Two. But he fought with along with the man. My grandfather um he um he saved a lot of lives and my papa was strong as a superhero and good as a superhero and I love him so much. People in the military are like superheroes because they they're saving our country and they're helping our country from bad people and and they they help they're working for the government and their president so they can help our country and our world stay safe. I have to say, uh, superhero they're both selfless, you know. So uh, they uh, they both are willing to lay down their needs, their wants, their safety for other people and rather have other people put in front of them. So. Uh, veterans, oh my goodness. Well, I mean, we wouldn't have the things that we have today without them, uh, without their sacrifice and without their selflessness. Uh, I think they're the epitome of what it means to be an, an amazing human. <laughs> so um, the, the freedoms that we have, just they, I don't think they would exist without them. Um, Thank you. I mean, I know that there's not enough that we can do uh, to be able to sh say our thanks, um, but the least we can do is, is to say that and to recognize you guys because, you know, you deserve uh, all the recognition in the world for what you've done. Um, so just thank you, really. Because they help people that are getting hurt and shot and houses that are getting blown up and the stuff, and the stuff that's and the important stuff that's getting hurt, uh, blown up and tanks like just getting blown up from other strong things. I think it's important to celebrate Veterans Day because they give up every day of their lives to fight for us and we should at least give up one day to honor them. Uh, I want to say thank you for supporting our, for supporting us and helping us out and protecting our country and thank you for protecting your lives for us. Important to me because they protected this country for so many years and they sacrificed their lives to protect us. I think it's important to celebrate on Veterans Day for all the sacrifices they've made for our country. I think it's important to honor and celebrate Veterans Day because they served and fought for our country. I think it's important to celebrate Veterans Day because they risked their lives to serve for our country. Military men and women are most definitely superheroes because they sacrifice their lives each day for us. They fight for our freedom and protect their country, their families, and their friends. I am super grateful that we have our military. I am a proud military sister. I am Michael Mecklip and today I'm going to honor you because you're y'all are the men and women who serve for our freedom. Without y'all we would not be a country, we would be owned by someone else. And serving during this tough time, especially during COVID, is one of the hardest things to do. You can't see your family or do like anything like that. You're stuck at a base or you're rotating between bases and all this other and all this other crud. Happy Veterans Day. I hope you stay safe. Veterans Day is how we honor our heroes, the people who fought so hard and risked their life for our country. They are the people that got us through wars and never gave up. They are so brave and they are always idolized what they have done for our country. 
My great-grandfather fought in the Vietnam and Korean War, and I'm so happy to be able to honor him. Veterans have done so many amazing things for our country, and through Veterans Day, we are allowed to recognize and honor them for everything they have done. Thank you so much, veterans. To all of you that have served and are serving, thank you for all you have served for all you have done. Thank you, veterans. Happy Veterans Day.